My goodness, I'm Max Garcia, this is MW Tech, and today we are revisiting the Apple product which no one bought, and that's the Apple HomePod. I actually have them in a stereo setup right now. Each little HomePod costs $300, so combined making a stereo pair is $600. And right now, Apple has about 2% of the smart speaker uh, market share. So right now, in your home, you probably don't have a HomePod or you don't even know what this device is right here. Well, simply, it's a smart speaker, just like the Alexa ones or the Google speakers. And all it is, it just has Siri and it's in the Apple ecosystem. So you could do a super cool feature called handoff. And this is an example of that. So this right here is Apple Music, and this Alexa speaker can play Apple Music, but nothing like this. Watch this handoff. Ready? Ready? Talk about the Apple ecosystem. Sheesh. And that right there is the beauty of the Apple ecosystem and software updates because back in 2017, when this HomePod was released, you couldn't even set it up in a stereo pair. It didn't have multiple accounts. You couldn't set multiple timers at once. It didn't have any relation to your calendar. And now all those features have been added. You could also ask it to play rain sounds. Hey Siri, play a rain sound. Now playing rain from ambient sounds. Hey Siri, stop. So all those, all those features right there that I just rambled on about have been added with software updates and especially the handoff one, which you're not gonna be able to do with any other smart speaker, only the HomePod because it's in that wonderful walled garden of the so-called Apple ecosystem. And just talking about the speaker part of the Apple HomePod, it is, my gosh, fantastic. If you have the Echo Dot or the Google Home Mini or now called the Google Nest Mini in your home and you've been playing music off of that, oh my gosh, bless you when you hear the sound out of this because it is gonna blow your mind. It's like seriously, you're not gonna know what reality is with music anymore because this just, fills the whole room with music that is just so enjoyable to whatever your liking is in music. The bass is perfect, especially with these sound panels that I got here for that perfect sound isolation. Oh my gosh. And then once you pair it with the second HomePod, it's over. This is the best sounding smart speaker you could buy right now. Better than the Google Home Max, better than the top tier Amazon Alexa speaker. This is the top tier speaker. Hey Siri, play Hot Shower by Chance the Rapper. Okay, ready, ready? playing Hot Shower featuring me Magical. and Magical. And it like Chance the rapper. detects with the microphone its environment to tweak the sound ever so slightly. Quality sounding speaker right here. Ready? Hey Siri, stop. And the microphone pickup is superb. I could literally be standing in another room and just say, hey Siri, and it's gonna pick up my voice. Like craziness out here with this speaker. And it's very under the radar. Like it's very underrated. And I could say that now because once it's kind of filled in the outline of the smart speaker with the software updates over the past two years. Now, it's your time to get in on the Apple HomePod. Back in 2017, I was like, it's not the complete experience. The Google Home Max is probably the better buy with the Google Assistant. But now, with that handoff feature, which is actually really useful when you're coming home, have music on your phone with your AirPods, just wanna quickly transfer it to a much louder and just fuller sound. Just go to the HomePod, put your phone on top of it, it transfers it, and if some reason you wanna transfer it back to your AirPods, boom, transfer it right then to your phone again. 
and somehow it still works with iOS 13.2.3, whatever, on my iPhone SE, which is pretty old at this point, released in 2016. So the HomePod is impressive. I really enjoy it. It's just like I never have to upgrade my smart speaker ever again because with even more software updates in the future, this is going to even get slightly better. And it's already at that bar where it's like, how much better can you get? It's really good if you have the money for it. $300 is a lot to put into a speaker. You can get AirPods Pro for $250, and I arguably could say you probably should do that over buying this, but if you have that spare cash, then this is a worthy purchase indeed. That's it for me here. That's the stereo home pods. Absolutely mind-blowing. It is terrific. It is just magical. Everything that Apple does with the ecosystem, I don't know how they do it. That's it for me here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you bless. Peace out. Three, two, one.